Assalamu alaikum. What is up, everybody? Today we're talking about how history influences who you are today. Because I know history has influenced who I am today. And we're going to go over the Dodecad Africa 9 test again and talk about how everything is interconnected. So let's start off with my great grandma's side of the family. My great grandma is descended from the same tribe as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, it's called the Qadish tribe. We are from the Banu Hashim clan. Uh, the sub like the sub clan the family is called the Al Tirbin and the, there's a sub clan of that called the Nijmat and the Rawali Abu Rawali. We're related to both of those, but more so the Nijmat because they're from more from Palestine. The Abu Rawali is both from Palestine and Egypt. So and for history, like uh the second or third cousin of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Atiya, he started, he was born in Taraba, uh, which is next to Mecca in Saudi. And then he moved, his family moved to Jordan, then to Palestine, and then to Egypt. So that's how that side of the family moved from Saudi to the Sina the Qazim Dahab uh, in Egypt, and Khan Yunus uh, in Palestine, the Gaza to Gaza. Um, and then my great-grandpa, his family uh, was Lebanese Druze, and they originally, back in the day, were from a place called Makala in Yemen. But uh, during the Crusades, the army of Salah ad -Din, uh, the famous Kurdish general who expelled the Crusaders out of Asia. They needed soldiers. So they invited uh, Hadrami Yemenis up from Makala. And those Yemenis eventually became the Lebanese Druze. Uh, so that's the story of my great-grandpa. So his, yeah, so his family literally helped Salah ad -Din kick the Crusaders out of Europe, or of, not of Europe, of Asia. So that's my great-grandpa's side of the family. My great-grandma's side is, real, is uh, descended from the same tribe as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, and his cousin, Atiyah, um, is our direct ancestor. Uh, so that's basically explaining a little bit more. Cause you see, I'll flip the screen over. You got all, you like, a lot of you don't know how, like the Saudi is tied in with the Bedouin and the Egyptian and the Jordanian and the Druze and the Yemeni are tied in together. And those are the main ones. The Tuscan and North Italian, those both, I believe, come from my dad's side. Because Northern Italy is next to, like, Germany, Austria. My dad's got family from up there. But, yeah, the Yemeni and the Druze are tied up together. And the Jordanian, Saudi, Egypt, Egyptian, and Bedouin are all tied up together too. So yeah. So that's that's pretty much it, man. Like And the interesting thing is nobody can guess where I'm from. I'll get all kinds of like questions. Are you are you I get, people think I'm Albanian, people think I'm Turkish, people think I'm Syrian, they'll think I'm what other nationalities they think I am. Like Russian, Dagestani, you know, and yeah, so now you know, now you know where I'm from, I'm Palestinian, Egyptian, Jordanian, 
Lebanese, Saudi, Yemeni. And some of the Egyptian might be like actual, like Coptic Egyptian, but I don't know. And obviously I don't identify that way. So yeah. But yeah, no, so I'm, main, I'm mainly Palestinian, Lebanese, Jordanian, Egyptian, Saudi, and Yemeni. That's what I am. That's what I'll always be. And that's pretty much it for today. Peace.